Hey everyone, so today I'm filming another study with me video. This one is an Easter holidays edition. I am currently in the process of writing my dissertation and I've also got three exams coming up in May that I'm revising for. So I just thought I would film what a typical day of revision looks like for me. I have been trying to wake up at about 7 o'clock every day this holidays and I have been absolutely loving it. I have found that I am so much more productive in the mornings and it means I can take the whole evenings off for myself. So I always wake up at 7 and I take half an hour just to kind of chill, have a cup of tea, wake up a little bit and then at half 7 I start my first little bit of revision. Usually my first bit of revision is my easiest task for the day, just because I'm still waking up at half 7 I'm not completely with it and that at the moment tends to be flashcards. So I use my notes that I've usually written the day before to write up the flashcards and I use the website Cram to do this and today I was doing them on processes of human memory. At around half eight, nine-ish is when I have breakfast, so this morning I was having porridge and I take about half an hour as a break just to eat breakfast, get dressed and get ready for the day and I start my revision about nine, half nine-ish and before I start any revision or any work I always remember to turn my phone on to do not disturb, it's a lifesaver, I can't believe I haven't really done this before but it just means I don't get any buzzes, I don't get any notifications, I don't know what's going on on my phone so I don't think to look at it and I make sure I put it away from me so I'm not constantly picking it up and being distracted and then I start my next bit of work and this one is usually kind of the hardest bit of work that I have to do that day or the most brain consuming just because I find that this time of day is when I'm most productive so today I was writing a plan for my discussion of my dissertation and I also started writing it up I'm also looking at some example dissertation papers just to kind of get an idea of what I should be writing and the style I should be writing in and I did this for about two hours crossed off what I had done so far today from my little revision plan because honestly nothing feels better than crossing something off a to-do list and then I had my next break at half eleven. I took about half an hour to have a cup of tea and a booja booja truffle which is one of my favourites. At 12 I continue to write my discussion of my dissertation for another hour or so. Usually I like to take a little bit of a longer break for lunch, so I had about an hour off where I made soup, I had a bagel and I just chilled and went on my phone until about 2. I then got on with even more discussion work for another hour and a half. I find that I'm quite a slow writer when it comes to writing essays and dissertations and anything really because I'm quite meticulous in the way I type, I like to get it right first time and I don't really like to do lots of drafts, so I actually only managed to write about 500 words this day for my dissertation. At about half three I took another break and I started again with work at four where I did some revision, so just like how I like to do my easiest thing at first thing in the morning, by this time at night I like to go back to doing easy work because my brain is just frazzled from doing dissertation. So here I was just writing some notes on my children's mental health module. I like to write notes in the evening and then make flashcards on the same topic the next day just because I really find this consolidates the information better. So writing notes on this one topic took me about an hour and 45 minutes and once I'd finished with that I crossed it off my to-do list and I was done for the day. I don't really like working past 6 at night so I always try and stop before then and I take the whole evening off just for myself to relax. But this was my entire day of work, I did about 8 hours. If you want to see more study with me's please let me know in a comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.